I'm Keba Tikin. I manage the Holistic Coalition of the Willing Gallery Store in Crossroads Mall and I am one of the co-conveners of Create Cebu. I am also a junior partner of the Creative Cebu Council, um, uh, which is formed by the different chamber heads of the different creative industries in Cebu City. Chris Crossings is basically a Create Cebu project. Um, it's a three-day event that aims to kind of, well, on the one hand, some very plain, um, you know, language, bring the creatives out of their woodwork, give them a platform to showcase what they're doing and make them talk to each other because sometimes when you think you're just at the cusp of something and you haven't breached it maybe because you need someone else's inspiration or someone else's expertise to kind of nudge you to the right direction so um, as was mentioned earlier we tend to be a little insular we tend to be a little kind of in Cebuano we say inato um, we are very protective over what we do and that's fine because you know if it's something that you create um, you want to keep it close to you but sometimes in order for it to become bigger than what you are you got to go outside of who you are and this is what we do we want to do in crisscrossing so we have events such as talks um, that gather people um, as what we're doing right now we have workshops that um, allow people to well on the one hand experiment with something that they want to do but for other people to hone what they're already doing and to connect with a professional who is doing it on a more industrial level maybe or who at least is making a living out of it um, and we have um, we also have uh, networking events you know? um, we have the after party for example we have um, performances by Tutu Tango um, and some other performances like Sutukil um, Selects no? it, they're very famous on social media and they're a great model to look at um, we, uh, we have our um, street artists doing live murals so um, there's concept, there's application, and there's also a chance for experimentation. That's what we want to do in three whole days. We also have a market um, for food entrepreneurs and uh, makers as well. No? Um, it's just a small little bazaar and we curated it so that we don't have resellers. We don't have um, everyone who's in the market rather makes their own stuff. So you talk to them about it, they can tell you from inception to marketing what it took and you know how the pains that they took to get there. You know how you're in a room and you want to look for something but when you need it you can't find it but when you don't need it it's there and imagine that happening with the creative industry so for example you need somebody to conceptualize a game with and then you're like where do I begin to look um, who do I consult Lalo and I, if you don't come from that industry look if you're from that industry you know the little trade secrets but that's the point of communication and collaboration you're from another side of the island um, so to speak no and you're talking to someone else on the other side of the island and you don't know squat about how they speak their language there so who do you talk to um how's it go it's kind of you're an outsider looking in um that was what the problem that was a problem that we wanted to kind of semi-solve with the creative convergence um to kind of get all these people to talk to each other um to kind of say that look if you're looking for a programmer this is the grid that you need to talk to um they're actually very willing they're actually also looking for somebody of your expertise you know they're not as close off as you think they are they need you as much as you need them they just we just need like a general platform a neutral space kumbaga um for everyone to kind of appear and have fun and eat and meet friends you know what i mean because um that's where that's where um, it all comes out, you know, in community, in communication. And we wanted to build that because beyond making projects and beyond making products, it's about supporting community. I mean, um, when we were doing this, we, and we talked to each of our constituents, no, and we just wanted to find out, for example, where they were on the creative industry grid, just so we understand why they were working with us a lot of them said I've always wanted to do insert artistic or creative stuff here 
but I work in a bank, I work in a tradition, and I don't know how to support it, and I don't know how I can be that. And then that's when we kind of introduced the concept of the, um, the value web. You know, that you don't have to be, not everyone cannot be artists at the same time, right? But you are part of a creative economy because you are buying, you're creating, you are enabling it. Um, and that's what we're, we want to invite the enablers then, right? Um, a very concrete example. Um, the Maker's Market is located at the back portion of Chris Crossings across the road. Um, and Chris Crossings has a lot of permanent tenants, no? Um, who of course go out there and say, what's, what's, what's up with this, so on and so forth. No? There are already two of them, um, Halo and Lily Life, if I'm not mistaken, that a local tenant has already, who is a professional in the design field, has already talked to and opened um, avenues of co-production with um, and maybe talk to them about international standards. So, and, and, and they had that conversation just this morning and with the makers saying, you know what, we always wanted to do that but we don't have access to, say, a guidebook of international design. And we actually didn't even look into that because we don't, I mean, our vision is not set on exporting, we're still a small time. But then here comes the pro who says, you know what, you don't need to be the one to basically go me small mag export outside. You can link with other ateliers and galleries who would bring your stuff outside. But that's exporting but in, you know what I mean? And you need to conform to certain standards in order to um, to be qualified for that. And they had that conversation and they all they both learned something from each other and in a sense we kind of accomplished one of the things we wanted when we conceptualized um, the creative convergence.